Hello everyone, and welcome back to another jailbreak tutorial. This tutorial will be for iOS 8.4.1 32-bit. This means it'll work on an iPhone 5, a 4S, any A5 or A6 based device, but not A7 and A8, uh, because those are 64-bit. So if you have an iPhone 5S or a 6, this is not the right tutorial for you. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have either of those devices on iOS uh, 8, so I couldn't make one if I wanted to. Uh, I'm guessing most people are going to be here with a 5 or a 4S, though, because these can easily be OTA downgraded to 8.4.1, as mine is, and, uh, yeah. So, this is a tutorial. The jailbreak is by Tim Starr. It's called ETA Sun JB. Uh, the classic joke that so many jailbreaks have seemingly used. Check Green did it, too. Uh, the joke is, when ETA, ETA, it's misspelling. I'm sure there's some original context to that that's just been lost to time. Either that or I just don't know about it. Anyways, it's going to tell you here on the official link to use City Impactor. You can't unless you have the paid Apple developer account because on free accounts it's broken and it hasn't been updated. Which is unfortunate because City Impactor was always the most trusted tool out there because it was made by Sorek, the same guy who made Cydia. Uh, because the thing about uh, signing apps, which you'll have to do here, is that it needs your Apple ID to be sent off to Apple servers. And the only tool Apple makes, of course, to do this is only on Mac. So if you want to do it on Windows, you need to rely on a third-party tool, and that gives opportunity, of course, for concern over people's Apple IDs getting stolen. Uh, this hasn't happened with reputable tools, which the tool will be using, which is called Sideloadly, definitely is. It's very reputable, uh, not quite so as City Impactor. No tool will ever be as reputable as Impactor unless Apple makes one because, of course, Sorek made City Impactor. But a lot of people use this. It's the generally trusted tool. People say, for best practice, use a burner Apple ID just for signing apps. Uh, I currently don't, maybe I will in the future, but I don't have too much of a concern over it because it's a very trusted tool. And if they had been stealing I, uh, people's Apple IDs for a year, now, since it's been out for over a year at this point, we would know about it by now. It's pretty safe. So, uh, if you have any concerns or don't trust me, you can go look look up Sideloadly. You'll find hundreds of people telling people to use it. It's not just me. And if you're still concerned, you can use a burner Apple ID, as even Sideloadly themselves recommend, because they know people have a hard time trusting a tool where you need to enter your Apple ID into it. Uh, so of course you'll have to put it here in this nice little censored box here since I've obviously censored mine out. Uh, and it'll ask for your password the first time. After that it saves it locally on your computer so it won't need it again. At least I've had it for a few days now and it hasn't asked again. Uh, so this tool is a good replacement and it's very trusted. It was It's made by the administrator. Well, it's not, it wasn't. I'm sure it was made by several people but it was at first announced by the administrator of the iOS God site, which is seemingly very reputable. So, uh, I have not been able to find a single instance of any, like, mistrust uh, against it, other than, of course, healthy skepticism, which is important for everyone to have. With that long tangent out of the way, I just feel obligated to say any disclaimers possible when there's even a glimmer that something could potentially be unsafe. Again, it's not, it's reputable, it's trustworthy, but I could go on and talk for 10 more minutes repeating myself, we're just gonna get started here. So once you've entered in your Apple ID and made sure your proper device is selected, it has to be plugged in and you have to have iTunes installed, not the Windows Store version. You have to have the normal version that you download from Apple's website. I'll leave a link in the description for that. It's gonna tell you to download the Windows version, I mean the Microsoft Store version, just scroll down a bit and you'll find the actual version that'll work. Uh, and you'll need your device plugged in with a good lightning cable, and you'll need the IPA file for the, uh, I'm just going to call it the Edison jailbreak. <laughs> uh, and then click this big, this big bold button that says IPA, and select wherever you've put it. It's on my desktop, so I'll do it there. And uh, then simply hit start. You will need your iPhone to be on Wi-Fi, or you could get weird errors uh, doing this. And there we go. Just like that, it's been signed. We're done with the computer. All right, so going on device now, I'll move my camera down. You should have a new app called uh, Edison JB. So open it up. Uh, 
I don't know why it didn't ask me to trust any certificates. It might for you. It would do it like down here. I guess iOS 8's old enough that it doesn't need it. It might for you down there. It might say just developer not verified and show your Apple ID. Just go to go into settings general. Go right here. Hit profiles. Oops, not VPN. <laughs> and uh, go and just verify it. Uh, it seems that iOS 8 and 7 are a bit wonky with that, so I th they were just implementing those kind of features. So I guess it didn't need it for me. I'm just putting that there in case it does for you. So open it up and hit, uh, I think, just this button. Yep. It's entirely dedicated to the joke of when ETA, ETA soon. Storage almost full. If you've been jailbreaking for a while, you'll remember that friendly message. When it's messing with the file system, it seems to always cause devices to do that. The nice thing is this is an untethered jailbreak, so even unlike Helix or Phoenix or Uncover or any of those, you will not need to keep the app signed. Once you've done it once, you shouldn't ever need to do it again. And City is there now. And boom. Just like that, we are jailbroken. And the app, let's see what it says. It's just going to give you the option to run UI cache. At this point, unless you want to have it there just to, so you can run UI cache, you can use a tweak to do that as well. Uh, you can delete it if you want. Uh, but one last thing I'll show in my tutorial is just updating a certificate that goes bad. This can cause weird issues connecting to certain sites and repositories. So I like to show this in all of my tutorials. It just recently expired. So if you want to install the new certificate that'll fix this, just go to Cydia dot invoxy play games dot uk it's not dash i hate using these small keyboards when i'm not head on eh, slash certificates i'll leave this link in the description as well it'll ask you to install city uh, the isrg root x1 ca let's encrypt just hit that and then you can install it. Uh, this, you might, on a device this new, you might be able to install it from the actual website. This page was made for very old versions that won't be able to connect to the modern site. And it gives you the link for the original certificates. Ah, it's, it doesn't load though. That's interesting. So you will still need that link. Uh, and that'll fix you having weird issues where it'll say the certificate could not be verified or the certificate's expired. You may be trying to connect to a, to a, say that's pretending to be blah 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 that'll happen if your certificates are expired if you've ever used like old windows with the date setting correctly you'll know that comes up before but uh when trying to browse the web it's very similar here it's just something you need to fix nowadays as these devices age anyways that's it you're jailbroken now you can have fun less than 10 minutes unedited only eight that's probably the fastest tutorial yet and it's untethered so you can reboot delete the app, do whatever, and you will stay jailbroken. Uh, so thanks for watching. I'm going to keep this under 10 minutes. Uh, if you like the video, if it worked for you, a like is always appreciated. And I have plenty more of these tutorials. If you have any device running iOS 8 or below now, well, if it's 64-bit, that's a bit of an exception. But uh, <laughs> if iOS 7 and under, I have a tutorial for you. Uh, iOS 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. I have tutorials for. So I'll leave a link in the description as well to the tutorials playlist, which will have all my jailbreak tutorials on it. Uh, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. See everyone later. And uh, have fun with your newly jailbroken, downgraded device. See everyone next time.